Hey guys, I have a bad habit of forgetting to wish you happy things, so happy Thanksgiving! Hope you enjoyed today's video. Welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Um, I know that the title says unboxing, um, but it's really just more of a first impressions video because I couldn't help. I, I opened it. I got this as a birthday gift um, just yesterday, and so I already opened it and took a look, and so my first impression is, oh my goodness, this is so soft. So this is a Moterm A7 pocket planner, you know, pocket size, it's the same size as, um, as the Filofax pocket, which I will go ahead and pull out just a random piece of paper in the back here to compare the size of the actual inserts that come with it. Um, this is a birthday gift, like I said, it comes with this like fly leaf, which is one of the things that I think is really cool. This is going to make it, I think, a lot easier, straightforward to use as a wallet, which is the way I do things. So let's first of all pull out everything it came with. Um, it came with like two sort of pads of um, undated like daily, basically. I'm not sure how much I'll use these. If I'll use these, I might keep a couple handy in case I need like a daily on a week where I wasn't planning to use them, um, where I didn't print any out. You know, they don't hurt anything. It's nice that they came with. Um, this is really soft leather. I was not expecting that. So I was going to compare the size. Um, it is slightly narrower than what I have cut out here and slightly taller, actually. But the rings are the same. Um, I cut my inserts to three and a quarter by four and three quarter inches. Um, these are probably measured in millimeters, though. Hence the A7. So I'm actually because this is brand new and I'm setting up for December, I'm going to move everything from my um, Filofax, um, this is Malden, and like I said, pocket size, I'm going to move everything into here. Um, I'm not going to show you all of it because for one thing, it's all just the same as what's in my flip through. And uh, for another thing, I'm going to be setting up this as a wallet and you know, I don't want to see my credit cards, obviously. So just a second. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's a bit um, there's a lot of space here between the cards on the top, um, basically because the way that they overlap, it means that there's quite a lot of card in the middle and like at the bottom and yeah. So that, um, is something that might be able to get used to. Like I said, the leather is quite soft, so it does bend a little bit to the size of, you know, what's there. Um, so this back section here is my whole wallet, except for what's in the front, front, which is a quarter, and what's in the back pocket, which is 20 bucks. So um, I have everything the same. I still love the back pocket. I wouldn't want to choose a planner that didn't have that because it's very, very useful. Um, and so far, everything in the middle is exactly the same. Um, and yeah, there's pockets like in the front here. I have this guy, and then I didn't put anything back here yet. Um, so I might put some cards in here because right now I have like overlapping ones So we'll see exactly how I decide I like it But for now this is the initial setup and it does look a bit chunky because of this taking up space on the rings So that's the difference I'm gonna Put this baby in storage for a little bit and Move on with this guy. So um, yeah today we're here for a December plan with me it Means it's Christmas time and I can't believe it uh, I, I was hoping to have a lot more Christmas stuff already prepped by the time we got here, but, uh, you know, alas, this is what we've got. I have this little flyleaf for the front, and then this month we're going to be using the My Summer Touch, what did she call it, monthly foldouts, and then I got goal planning monthly. So I like this guy, and I used it uh, back in... August, I want to say, yeah. And um, I wasn't really doing a lot of goals then. <laughs> so this month, uh, I'm hoping to really get the most out of it possible. So let's just go ahead and start setting that up.
this section here, I haven't decided yet how I want to sort of express what my goals are for the month. Um, I don't know if I will have six of them or if I need to go fishing to see something a bit more nebulous. We'll see. Um, but basically that's where these will go. Things like, you know, pray more, I guess, and family together this time. And basically my goal this month is to stay together and try to be like a good mother. Um, my husband's going back to work on November 30th. And so it's just going to be me and the girls until I go back to work on December 28th. So that's four weeks of just me and the girls, and we're going to try to make the most of it and stay in one piece. Um, if I don't need all of this section, maybe I'll pull out another sticker. I have some Christmas stickers and they get pulled out like once a year. Slap this over here and then put the goals on this side. That actually is not a bad idea. I will determine what my goals are first and you'll see what that looks like in the monthly flip through video coming later this month. The thing I really like about this insert is there's space for weekly goals. I generally like to think of my goals that way, um, my projects and things. It's like, okay, this week I will focus on this thing. Next week I will focus on a different thing. Don't worry about thing two until that week comes, you know? Um, and then I printed it out this way the first time as well. The first time I used this in August. I'll have this in the front and then, you know, it's a quick at a glance view. And then on the back here will be... Um, some more like events and tasks and I guess I'll do events here and tasks here and then this section will be undated tasks and this will be dated tasks and then this will be events um, so all of that is to say it's time to pull up my future log and fill this all out So the only thing I have left to do in here is to determine what my monthly goals are going to look like or how they're going to be worded. And then um, I think these weekly goals will generally come up as I go along and I go, oh, I really need to spend a week doing this and I'll put it on one of my weeks. Um, so I'm going to show you what my, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole moving and transition right now to show you what I have planned for like sections. So. I'm going to move the monthly back to the front with this one. And then obviously I don't need November's month weeklies in here. This, um, I don't need this guy. Find a day journal that somebody may be waiting on. These are all going to be in the front section as well with my monthly. So this is back to the way things usually are if you're familiar with my flip throughs. And then we've got the front section which or the first tab I mean which is my weeklies. Um, the beginning of my weekly section I like to print out a photo with my HP sprocket so I already did that in advance for a change and you get to see this comes on photo paper or on a obviously photo paper on a sticker. There we go. So I've got a cute little photo of my favorite people. Aren't they? I know. And then my plan is to use this My Summer Touch weekly for this month. This is the same one that I did uh, I believe I showed this off at, in last month's plan with me as well. Um, you'll get to see me set this up for like next week or a week after that for my um, weekly plan with me video. I printed it in grayscale this time so I can you know do my own color scheme. And so I've just printed out five of those for this month. 
and then I think everything else is going to be in the same order. Uh, I have a couple of projects, like this project here is done, so I'll probably be rearranging a couple of things in the interim, but that is what it looks like for December. To get used to this new pen loop, it needs a little breaking in, but it is bigger than the one in the Malden. I love it. It's great. Thank you so much to my parents for this beautiful birthday gift. Thank you to you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you're not subscribed, there's a button for that below. Go ahead and ring the bell if you like notifications, you know, if you're that kind of person. Um, and then I will post a new video on Sunday, um, as I do every week. What I'm trying to say is I post videos twice a week, so you should totally subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.